All right, in this video, we're going to demonstrate the installation of the MySQL server and uh, MySQL Workbench for Macintosh. So as you can see, I am on the MySQL Community Downloads page, and we want the community server. So we click that. It should automatically detect that you are using uh, the Mac OS, and therefore it brings up the options. Let's just go ahead and take the first option. Now, when you see this, you don't need to sign up or log in. Just come down here and click on No Thanks. Just get started, and it will begin the download. And it is fairly large, so I'm going to go ahead and let that done, and then we'll pick up once it's finished. All right, the download is finished. We'll go ahead and click. It should then open up the installer. There it is. And then we just double click. This installation window opens. It's fairly common. We just click Continue and continue and continue you have to put in your password in order to allow the installation to move on at this point you have the option between two different um, types of <clears throat> passwords let's go ahead and choose legacy for macintosh and then you're going to click next now Notice that the username is automatically root. You need a password. Below are the requirements for this password. So my recommendation is that you go ahead and um, open a password management tool or a text editor. So I'm going to bring up text edit. I'm going to create a new document. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can type my password here. I can save the document so there's no doubt that I know what that password is. All right, so I'm going to call my password myS3LPSSWord. All right, so just to play on the MySQL password, I'm then going to go ahead and save this document. And I'm just going to call it the MySQL password. And then you can choose where you want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my desktop so I know right where it's at and save. All right, so now I have the document and I'm not going to lose the password. So I copy it. I come back over here. I paste that password in and then I say finish again. I have to give permissions for that to happen. It tells me that the installation was successful and I click close. Now you can choose to either keep the installer or move it to the trash. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the trash. All right, so that is the server. Now what I need to do is get the um, workbench tool. So coming back to my downloads, you'll notice there is MySQL workbench here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Once again, it automatically detects my operating system and I choose download. And just like before, no thanks, just give it to me. The download is done. I go ahead and click on it to execute. I get the um, installation window and I just grab it, drag it over to my applications folder. And it copies it into my applications folder. All right. It should now be done. So if I click over here on Applications, notice I do have my SQL Workbench. All right, now how do I start or stop the MySQL app in Macintosh? So what I'm going to do then is I am going to go up to my Finder. I am going to, excuse me, I'm going to go to my Apple menu and I'm going to choose System Preferences. And in my list of System Preferences, you'll notice down at the very bottom, I have MySQL. And when I click on it, it opens this and I can see that it is running. And the reason it's running is because I told it to do so at the end of the installation process. Obviously, I can reach over here and I can click Stop and it stops. Now, this option here will make sure that whenever you start your computer and log in, the MySQL will begin running. That's fine. You can do that. But 
note that when that's happening, it is consuming system resources. And while we don't anticipate seeing a slowdown of any type, it could. And so if you wanted to have manual control, you would simply turn this off again, enter your password. And then when you actually wanted to start the server and stop the server, you would open system preferences, you would click MySQL, and then you would manually start it. Again, when the green uh, circles appear, you know that it is running. <clears throat> running sorry. Uh, and then when you wanted to stop it again, you would just click stop. So there it is. That is the installation of MySQL and MySQL Workbench for Mac.